Christina Blinner and Associates with your morning flash update for this Tuesday, the 5th of April, 2022, about 8.35 a.m. Central Time. Well, we take a look at the marketplace. You're pretty stable in the stock indices. I've done a new report on the S&P. I talk about the inversion. I talk about price counts. I'm talking about uh, seasonal factors, monthly, weekly, daily charts. If you want to view it, just move your cursor all the way up here, click, and you'll be able to do it. I've sent out emails about it, but you'll be able to do that. I'll talk about it in a minute or two. Metal market's coming alive. Look at the copper. I said I think that this market, now I'm going to stick my neck out, 550 down the road a pound. Now, we're going to see today more talk about more sanctions out of Europe on Russia. Potash is coming into play, coal. Iron ore, there's many different markets that they're going to go after. Those markets should get something of a bid. And of course, just the talk of that puts up the energy prices because Europe wants to get off of Russian oil. Germany's saying they have made a serious mistake on counting that much on uh, Russian imports, and that's taking its uh, area. Wheat, another big export out of Russia and the Ukraine, up another 60 cents. It's difficult to be short anything as the war gets worse. Now, we're going to see today in the UN Security Council, uh, Mr. Zaletsky of Ukraine talk about the war crimes. There's no, no other way to do it, genocide, any way that you want to call that. So you're seeing how this is all playing out. The dollar is down a little bit. Uh, the Reserve Bank of Australia has made a move that sounds very hawkish. The Australian uh, uh, currency is up nearly, what, the dollar, about a penny or so. It's a big move. So you're getting a, a big play there. Bonds and notes still under selling pressure. Bitcoin trying to hold on, but it's trying to lose its embedded reading. And if it does so, what does that mean? That's going to be one of the questions. Now, we got today the trade of balance deficit. It came out worse than thought. They expected it to shrink a fraction to $88.2 billion. It went back up to $89.2 billion. A 13% increase in retail sales over the month ago. These are no longer 15 and 16% numbers. They're wavering between the 12 to the mid 13% range. And that's going to shrink a little bit more because we got better last year. So each week that goes by in April, we were coming out of a real bad COVID situation a year ago. And as we got into the summer, it got even better. So these numbers should shrink a little bit. Market Group's going to come out with the March service sector PMI at 845. The ISM's coming out with their U.S. service sector indices at 9 o'clock. The API's going to come out today with their key report. So you put that all together and where do you go? Well, I'll tell you. You might want to go and take a look at my special report on stock indices. I haven't done one of these in four or five months or longer. And I'm going to start doing this. I promise you to do them on a more regular basis, but not just stock indice. It'll be the grain markets, the soft markets, everything in the futures. I might even do another one this week. I enjoy doing them. I like doing them more than I actually do writing. And uh, it, it's, it's just easy for me to do it. You get the whole picture, the charts, what's going on. Now, this one's on the S&P. I talk specifically in this specific report about the inversion how long it takes to declare that an inversion has taken place. We're into our third day of it right now. Then I talk about a report, a filter on the inversion that has to do with the unemployment number. You've not seen it. I'm not going to spill the beans here, but it's very important to take a look at. Then the seasonal factors. We are in the strongest month of the year for the stock indices, April specifically to the S&P, out of 25 past Aprils. Five were down, 20 were up. And then the seasonals, according to the Moore Research Center, where they've been up 15 out of 15 years between coming in on a certain day and coming out a day, I pinpoint that for you as well. So you get monthly charts, weekly, daily, all these seasonals, the price counts are in these, giving you where the next price count uh, carries the market to. If you'd like to see it, it's free. Just go to our website, under research, just click on research, you're going to see the S&P report dated yesterday. It's only up five days, including yesterday. So Friday it ends. So you want to see it. It's free to you. Just go on the website, click away there, and I'll see you at the end of the day on my Rapstein.